And now to our weekly cross to the London Stock Exchange. There's an old saying that for every problem, there's someone who's already found a solution. But for many companies, when they go to implement new ideas or new efficiencies, they often start from scratch, and when that happens, they often come across problems that they're unable to solve. In the UK, however, that approach has been changing thanks to an online collaboration service called Two Degrees. It's a site where companies share solutions with each other, and it's an approach that's saving many businesses a lot of money. To discuss this collaborative approach, I'm joined by Martin Chilcott, who's the chief executive of Two Degrees. Martin, welcome to the program. I'd like to start by asking you about Two Degrees itself. You've established the world's leading collaboration platform for businesses who want to become more efficient. But for viewers who aren't familiar with your organization, what is Two Degrees and how does it work? Good evening, John. Thank you. Yes, so Two Degrees helps large corporations work much more closely with their suppliers in order to cut costs, reduce risks, reduce environmental impacts and drive innovation across their supply base. And it does it through an online platform where they have their own private space and they can invite in thousands of suppliers to work together. And it's not just that the companies work more closely with their suppliers, perhaps more importantly the suppliers work with each other. Now, how do collaboration platforms like Two Degrees create value for the companies involved? And what are the tangible benefits? Joy, so well, imagine it's a bit like being able to have a room available 365 days of the year, 24 by 7, where you can invite all your suppliers into it. And when I say suppliers, it's the operational managers, it's the energy waste, water managers, energy managers, factory managers and you can bring them together to work in groups where they can share knowledge around common problems. And any one uh, manager, operational manager, who's got a challenge can go to the group and say, hey, can you help me with optimization of my uh, electricity, building management systems? And they can tap into the collective knowledge of the group. And if you think about it, if you've got 1,500 uh, practitioners and experts, it's a huge amount of knowledge that you're being able to reach into and, and make the most of, which would otherwise be hidden. Now, I've often heard people say that for every problem in a company, someone has already found a solution. What kind of solutions are businesses looking for on your site? Has it led to actual investments being made to improve the efficiencies of the participating companies? Yeah, so absolutely. So in one of our programs uh, for ASDA, which is the Walmart subsidiary in the UK, their grocery business, we've got something like 300 food processors and manufacturers who are working together. It's about 1,000, 400 uh, individuals. And they have shared over the last few years around 100,000 exchanges of information around problems that they have in common. And typically they are wastewater energy challenges. So that might be about building a business case for LED lights. It might be about separating wastewater. It might be around uh, installing new technologies, considering buying, say, voltage optimization. So technologies that uh, um, one manager in one isolated plant, if you like, is considering using, can reach out to the others and, and get references, get deeper understanding. And that leads directly through to uh, investments being made and operational savings being made as a result. And so in, that, you know, in, that, in, in those kinds of programs, we can see at times up to 100 million euros of operational cost savings being made over the life of the investments that are coming directly out of conversations with their peers. And finally, um, what kind of companies are actually using two degrees for collaboration and efficiency improvements? So, you, know, you mentioned ASDA just then. And, and can Australian companies get involved as well? Yeah, well, we're delighted to have Australian companies involved, of course. I mean, it's a, it's a global platform and it's a, it's a glo global uh, service. Um, so the companies that uh, tend to be involved are, are very large multinationals with complex supply chains that are geographically dispersed. So with Unilever, we run a program with uh, their peers, Tata Global Beverages and Finlay's and others, around the tea industry. We run a program, as I say, for Asda around food. We run one with GlaxoSmithKline around their manufacturing base, with Royal Bank of Scotland, Sainsbury's and Carillion around sourcing innovation. So those are the companies that tend to lead the programs, but of course participating in them are tens of thousands of companies who are suppliers to them of all sorts of sizes, from the very small to you know, the equally very large, the Cargills and, and, and so forth. So you can participate by leading one of these programs or participate by 
taking part in the programs as a supplier to them. But we've also got an open platform for sustainability professionals, uh, which is called the Two Degrees Network. Um, and you can come across all of this, by the way, of course, at twodegreesnetwork.com. And you can join that just as a business person who's interested in making their business more efficient and more sustainable. And that's an, what we call our open network, where any professional can join in and, and share knowledge and ask questions. Martin, thank you so much for joining us. And I have to recommend people go to that website. It's extremely good. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Bye.